Look at this guy. Mood. Inventive. All right, you guys. So it is Monday night, 10 o'clock at night, on family day long weekend. So today is like a holiday. Everything's closed early. We need to go do cardio. Well, we don't need to, but we're choosing to go do cardio. And all the gyms are closed. And the only place that is open is a recreational facility called uh, Millennium Place in Sherwood Park. So it's a little bit of a ways away, but it's open until 11. It's 10.13 right now. It's about a 15, 20 minute drive. We're gonna go, we're gonna get a good cardio session in. We're gonna do some hit. So we get a lot of volume in in a short amount of time and we're gonna kill it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we made it to Millennium. The hit, card, the hit session we're doing is uh, yoga ball rollouts. Box jumps right here and then body weight pull-ups on the rings here. So we're going 30, what? Body weight like rows, sorry. Body weight rows, not pull-ups. So we're doing 30 seconds of each, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here, and then we rest 30 seconds and then we start again. Just finished the hit cardio session. It is now 10.58. Two minutes till the gym. Two minutes till it closes. So we just finished up, we're about to leave. Going home, get some food, go to bed. We're going to the gym early tomorrow morning. So we gotta get a good night's rest tonight. Get up there. We're going to the gym. Oh. All right, you guys, so today we're doing legs. We're on a new workout split now. So Coach Patty Love sent me a new uh, split. So today we're doing squats. This split is uh, primarily chest focused. So I bench, I bench like four times a week. So one, two, three, four. Four days where I bench. One day is straight push, like a full push day. And so is day five. So day one and day five are full push days with bench press incorporated four different times into the split. So it'll be fun, but today we've got legs. I'm working with 295. Supposed to be doing four sets of six. Supposed to be doing 70% 70, 70 of, of my one rep max, but I'm not 100% sure what my one rep max is right now. And if I put 345 as my one rep max, it would have been like 240. And I can do more than 240 for four sets of six. So 295, I'm gonna put that on the bar, see how it goes, we'll get into it. look like garbage because of this damn light there's windows all over this gym and when you come in the morning the sun is shining right through all the windows and you either can't see or if you take videos then the lighting is terrible and you can't even see you working out so it's kind of annoying and it sucks because if there's no other squat racks open then you got nothing to work with so you can't even see me right now I have to stand like this so that you can see me and then I can't see you it's kind of annoying okay guys so I'm gonna play a song over the next few clips here uh, this song is my brother's new song. He's in a band, so this is a new song that they just released. I'm gonna play it over the next couple clips here, throw it into like an edit type style. Go check them out. If you're into this type of music, go check them out. Their band name is Nicholas Rage. Um, yeah, if you enjoy this type of music, go check them out, show them some love, and yeah, we'll get into it.
All right, you guys, so like I said, if you enjoyed my brother's music, go check them out. I'll link their stuff in the description below. Show some love, show some support. Um, I'll finish up at the gym now. We're gonna go get some food. We're going to this place called KB and Co. Uh, it's this vegan uh, little restaurant. Uh, it's local. Um, I like it, the, the, the food's good. Like it, it's vegan, I, I'm obviously not vegan, so I'd like, I'd rather have non-vegan food, but Jensen really likes it. So we're gonna go there, grab some lunch, uh, probably spend a fortune while we're there because everything there is so overpriced, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the license plate? Okay. <laughs> oh. KB and Co. What is it? Uh, cream cheese cookie. Cream cheese vegan cookie, may I add. Go ahead, have a bite. Looks like rice cakes. <laughs> Texture? Yeah. Good. Taste? Delish. That was hard for you. That's really good. The building's having some technical difficulties. All right, Jeff, what'd you get? PB and J toast. PB and J toast. And then I got a Chipotle taco in a wrap with a side kale salad. Give her a bite. I have to cut it and everything. Okay. <laughs> vegan food. That's a big bite. <laughs> it's just like non vegan food. It's delicious. <laughs> okay, we just got home. We just got home. Jeb looks like she's gonna go for a nap. I could go for a nap, I'm pretty tired. Jeb might go for a nap. Pig, what are you gonna do? What are you up to, buddy? Pig is a man of a few words. But, um, Jeb's gonna do whatever she wants to do. I don't know what she's doing. But in a couple hours, I've got um, a meeting with a uh, regional manager with the company that I work for. Again, if you don't know, I work with Cactus Club. Uh, so I've got a meeting with one of the regionals uh, out in uh, uh, BC. Um, so I'm just meeting him because I'm working towards a promotion with the company. And so this is just kind of like a, a way to meet. We're just meeting each other. Um, you know, see if I get the thumbs up, get the green light for this promotion. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna start getting ready for that. It'll just be like a Skype call, because obviously he lives in BC, so it'll be like a Skype call or a phone call or something like that, so I'm gonna get that started. So I just got off that phone call, and I think went really well. Kind of turned into a little bit of like a motivational speech, which was awesome. I've never felt more motivated coming out of a phone call before. And I feel really good about my job, and I like my job, and I'm happy where I am. Did you feel more motivated when I called you crying in the summer? Yeah, one time Jeb called me crying in the summer, because if anybody doesn't know, Jeb moved to Kelowna for the summer, and we <laughs> we had just started dating, so we had started dating for like a week, <laughs> and then Jensen moved to Kelowna for four months, and then... Uh, yeah, so we did long distance for the summer, and then one night she called me crying because she was stressed out about money, about school, if she wanted to go back or not. Living. What? Living situation. Living situation because she almost didn't really have a place to live at the time, and she was just kind of homesick and just wanted to come back, and yeah. But I, I, th I felt like I gave you a pretty good pep talk. I don't know, I felt it like I did. That was a while ago though, so I can't really remember how it went, but... Yeah, you did. Yeah, I maybe I did. Quick, we made things work. We're happy where we're at. 
and yeah. Big smiles. <laughs> All right guys, so next thing for the day is we're going to my sister's basketball game. She's got a basketball game. Hi, my name is Trey and I got a basketball game tomorrow. Hi, my name is Trey, I have a basketball game tomorrow. But before we do that, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get some rice, I'm gonna get some beef, and I'm gonna get some beef and some rice, and I'm gonna get that going. This is what I've been doing for rice, minute rice. So I have this little scoop, this little thing, and so I've just been measuring that going into the dirty rice cooker. <laughs> um, I honestly would have a pretty hard time tracking rice because it was, these like nutrition facts on all bags of rice and whatever rice I would buy was all were all so different. And so I finally just kind of figured out a system where on my fitness pal, you can like create a food. I didn't know for the longest time. Considering how much I use that app, I didn't know you can just like create a food. And so I took the measurements from that rice, 70 grams equals however many calories, carbs, fat, protein that all that has, and I just input that. And so for you, those of you who don't know, if you have something that ha that you have trouble like inputting into MyFitnessPal, you can just create a food, like a custom food, and just name it whatever. I just named mine rice. And so I just use that rice, and I have like the proper measurements, the proper grams, and you can like put it in however you like. I obviously don't think it's very Asian of me to have a rice cooker, but I'm sure it is because I've grown up within my one my entire life and I've always had one. So like I just kind of assumed everyone would have one, but is it a very Asian thing to have that at home, like a rice cooker, or would do white families have rice cookers? I'm sure people do, but my family didn't. We just use the stove. It's because you're white. See, Asian people, Asian families, rice cookers for days. We used to have one at home. Was like it was huge. Like that's like the one that Chrissy has in her place. Okay, well they're white, but yeah, very. They're whiter than me. Yeah, but I feel like most white families don't have rice cookers, and all Asian families do. Maybe I'm just racist. Racist to the whites? Yeah. Now, whether I can find it so I got my beef and rice here. I'm gonna add this teriyaki sauce, and that will be my late lunch. Hey, what's on your finger? I don't know. Blue, Guys, blue on blue! Oh, I didn't realize it. <laughs> Jeb's life is falling apart. Let me see your sock. Oh no. What's even worse? Oh no. Oh no! Well, we were wearing matching joggers too. Were we matching? Oh. We were. We changed. were. But now I'm wearing the long blue. So we're going to my sister's basketball game. You just cut me off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're going to my sister's basketball game. Yeah, I'm repping vape. So I gotta show all the 13 year olds that I know fashion. Oh no, they're not 13, they're like, she's in grade nine. How old are you in grade nine? 14? 15? I gotta show all the kids that I know fashion by bathing ape. You know how much this shirt cost me? Did I tell you? Six million dollars. Pretty close. But I bought this in Vegas at uh, Urban Necessities. 200 was it? 200 snackaroonies. American? American. Are you serious? Yeah, 200 American USDs. I would never do that now. No, you wouldn't. You're so I, got, I was so excited. I was so excited to be in the store. And I felt like if I left the store without buying anything, I would have wasted my time there. I would have been like, what a waste. Why didn't I just buy something? But now, I look back, I should have just not spent 200 US dollars on a t-shirt. But it looks cool. It looks cool. But so does two hundred dollars in my bank account. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, welcome back to uh, the yeah, basketball. I told, you, I, I told them we were coming to your game. Oh, yeah. So we took the double yes, mom. Can you do this with your hands? We took no. <laughs> we took the, no. Triangle. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. <laughs> no, we took we took the yeah. W today, oh, yeah. ladies. <laughs> The score was 51 to 43 actually. 40, yeah. 43, 45. 45. Yeah. 
It was actually a really intense game. It's pretty good for like grade nine basketball, like 51 to 44. There's a lot of scoring. It was exciting, it was fun. But now we're here at the mall because Jensen and I decided that we have some time to kill before tonight. And then we realized that we don't have anything to do tonight. So <laughs> we're killing time. A little, bit of a little bit of homework. But we're killing time for nothing. And that's what we're doing now. So we're gonna see if we can find something to buy. I want to buy a new work shirt. Jensen might buy a new sweater. I might buy Jensen a new sweater. Jensen might buy me a new work shirt. <laughs> Who knows what will happen? So we're gonna figure that out. But we're inside um, one of the biggest malls in the world, probably. Would you say it's one North of the biggest? North America. One of the biggest malls in Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> one of them. One of them. But yeah, you know. Bye. Take a look around. All right, I picked up a sh new dress shirt and a new tie. Jeff didn't buy anything. We're both starving. We both just kind of hit a wall when we were walking in, or when we were walking around the mall. So we're heading home. We're gonna get some food in. To be honest, um, this, is what, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna go in, we're gonna eat some food, and then we're gonna lay on the bed, <laughs> possibly fall asleep, and then go do cardio. I feel like that's what our night will be. Homework. Jeff's gotta do homework. So I honestly think that's what our night will comprise of, but we'll wait and see. Stick around and find out what we end up doing. Woo! Woo! Hold. Oh. No, I didn't kill that. Hi, pig. <laughs> It's like seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> time is it? Pig! Pig, no flowers! Pig, we talked about this. No flower eating. Got some roses for Jeff for Valentine's Day. And this little guy is still trying to eat flowers. Remember what happened last time? Do you remember what happened last time? For any of you who don't know what happened last time, go watch the video. Just editing this video. Jeb fell asleep doing homework. But I did it. I got it done. But she got it done. I woke her up and I didn't even realize. I went to go ask her something and I realized she was sleeping. But uh, we're gonna go pick up some uh, frozen yogurt now because we were like a little snack. I've got room to fit this in, in my macros. I don't know if Jensen does. I do. Yeah, you do? Yeah, she's got some room too, so we're making it work, guys. What flavors did you get? Um, a little bit of cookies and cream, yep. vanilla, and cotton candy. Oh. Oh. I got vanilla, banana dipped chocolate. The other way around. <laughs> chocolate dipped banana. <laughs> With some score pieces and some cheesecake pieces. Well, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. I'm talking to the vlog, babe. I'm talking to the vlog. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. It's been a solid day. It's been a solid day. A solid day off. That was a day in the life of Greg. And Jeb, I guess. Jeb was there through it, through it all. But yeah. <laughs> I have <bit> seeds. <laughs> but it's just the shadow. Yeah, time for bed. It's just the shitty. Whoa! Hello, everybody. I'm gonna put this in the video. <laughs> time for bed. Hello, everybody. Um, it's just Jeb and Greg here. Camera's gonna die. The camera's gonna die, so we're gonna have to rip it up pretty soon here. Oh, the red right, right is flashing. Good night. <laughs>